How you living? How you feeling? How you doing? It's your girl, Jay the Trap Witch. And I'm here to drop some divine spells of wisdom on that ass. Alright? Sagittarius? This is your reading. So if you have Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, then this is for you. Now, if it doesn't seem to resonate, don't even try to make it fit, cuz. You feel me? And remember that whenever you are watching these these readings they're timeless so you can watch them whenever and the message can still apply to you even though it's your december 2020 it could be we're not on the same timeline okay this this could have already happened to you this could have not had happened to you yet but that's for you to decipher all right remember that these readings are I don't know what I was going to say, but I think I was about to say, I was going to say the same thing two times. What I wanted to say is remember that we all have divine masculine and feminine energy. So please do not get up, like hung up on the gender of the cards. If you would like to book a personal, I leave my information in the description box below. And we're just going to get started off with prayer and all of that. So spirit spirit guides angels ancestors thank you for allowing me to connect with the collective each and every day thank you for allowing us the opportunity to arise this to awaken this rising we know it is an honor and a privilege truly truly <laughs> we also are thankful and grateful for the opportunity to allow us to roam and travel this earth freely with love grace favor and wisdom into that we love you and we thank you ashe 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 i say tap me in please tap me in please to the overall collective of sagittarius sun moon rising and venus if this if you feel this resonates with anything else any other placements in your chart by all means let me know let me know if i need to incorporate some up. <sighs> so before I, I did get y'all, before I did start y'all reading, I got um intruder, 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 intruder. Now I'm not saying that in t a way to scare you or nothing. That's not how I see it. I feel like before something approaches you, before you see something coming or something that does come towards you i feel like your intuition is telling you like is warning you of something intruder intruder i don't know if they're not supposed to be there i don't know if it's just your intuition going off about this person to be cautious and be careful um somebody literally could not be where they're supposed to be at Take that house for how it resonates. I just had got that right before. Also, it's a song too by the Migos. And I ain't heard that song in so long. I don't even know how that should go. So take that how it resonates. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get into y'all first week, beginning of December. Alright, spirit, OR energy for Sagittarius in the first week of December. So a situation has not did not turn out the way you expected and if you're frustrated. Okay, Sag, hold on, give me a second. So you got the Ten of Cups energy in the reverse right off the bat as your overall energy. So I don't know from going in from November to December, what's going on? I think um, 
something is on hold, something could be on delay. Um, something that you thought would be here already is not here. I mean, you do have the Ace of Wands. All your your other cards are in the reverse. With the, pe the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. But the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands is the one thing that is in the reverse. So I'm going to start with that. Ace of Wands, clarify, please. And please, if you see me, like, mess with my mouth or move my mouth is moving, my mouth is hurting. Okay, the wire is cutting the shit out of me. So, I feel like this this is still good for you. I feel like you're you're prioritizing, you know, um So that could be why. I feel like you're trying to free yourself or you're trying to free up more of your time. You're try, you're unhappy because you don't have enough like time to yourself, time to tend to um other projects that you have. I feel like it's that's it's it's bringing down a lot of the other energy um your work life is like could be like real mundane so you're not hap like all the way happy in that and because you're you spend a lot of your time working you don't always get to do things that do make you happy so that makes you unhappy and then so it's knocking down a lot of your confidence and self-esteem so that's not going to help you and then with the queen of swords you are confused about something you don't there's a situation here that you um or there's so there's there's not communication going moving forward that could also be putting you in the headspace so we're gonna get clarification but what i do see so far is that you're 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 juggling i'm not gonna say struggling you could be juggling a lot on your plate um having to deal with work life family kids things of that nature but with the ace of wands and the ace of swords that's good energy to me because i feel like you're finally able to take action because you're not in your head about it so there could be a change of direction a shift that's going to make you happy okay you finally making that decision to be happy um clarify the seven of pentacles Well, unfortunately, so I think, excuse me, there's a lot of stagnant energy releasing out your life. So from the times that you, from, let me say, how do you say this? Coming from November to December, maybe you wasn't in the best um, state emotionally, you know, not being as happy as you want to be, or things are not being, are not as exciting, or things just have not been panning out as you expected them to but i feel like the will of fortune things are changing um the things that you've been wanting to come are coming the things that you have been patiently waiting for are coming i feel like there's a shift of positive energy coming to you with the will of fortune something that's what i'm saying something is very unexpected something is very unexpected um clarify the six oh. So, I see that you're not moving towards something with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom in the reverse. Um, you're very stubborn. If I'm being truthful, if this is not like a job situation that you're feeling stuck in, this is you doing this to yourself. This is like self-imposed because... With the hangman and the six of wands, you're not taking this action. Like, you're not confidently taking this action because you're not willing to change your perspective on it. Queen of Swords energy. Nine of Cups. There, you, there's a, you can be happy. I don't know if you're not making a decision. This is... Not making a decision to be happy. You can have the Nine of Cups. You can have your emotional fulfillment. Because the Nine is damn near as close to the Ten as you can get. You can have that. What's stopping you? 
What's stopping me? What is stopping this from Sagittarius? What is stopping them from being happy? They can't make a decision about something. What is stopping them from being happy? You're feeling like you're walking away empty-handed. Moving, having to move away from something, um, because you didn't, you didn't get something that you expected. You got something that was unexpected, or you heard something. There was some communication that wasn't of uh, that was expected. Second week. I was going to do something, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to see how long I can do this reading. All right. We got the Queen of Wands. So I, I, I see the Queen of Wands be, could be betrayed, portrayed as independent and confident. Uh, or this could you not be taking action on something. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. It's, let's just get into the other energy and then we will find out what's going on. But for the first week, I just see there's a shift turning. In places where you feel like you weren't emotionally fulfilled, I feel like you can be. You have to get out your head about it. This is the lover's card, so I don't know if you're not taking action on a, um, you, you might not be. So I see the lovers here. You could be dealing, this could be you. I mean, you are the queen of wands. That's just fiery energy. Um, I do see somebody is not taking, something that could have, yeah, that, yeah, y'all are, Somebody's being like left out in the cold. And I, I feel I'm feeling that somebody is not getting the anticipated result that they thought. Clarifying the Queen of Wands. This is the lovers. The lovers with the fucking page of pentacles. You could be looking at this offer like it's not enough. You know, it's not what you want. Somebody here is looking at this. The page is small. The page is a real small token of appreciation. You got the everything is fine card. So everything in your life is fine. But with the three of wands, I see that you're still in an energy of waiting. Um, trying to see your ships come in. Trying to see, see ahead long term. I see that looking out into the distance type of energy. Clarify the lover's card. King of Wands, this is very heavy energy. So this is the Queen of Wands in the reverse and the King of Wands. So this could be actually you and another person you're dealing with that has fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, shit, we got the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We got the Leo card, Leo. So you could be dealing with Leo, another fire sign. Um, you was in a relationship with this person. But I don't know what's going on here. Are you? Is it, is it not moving forward? I guess I'm supposed to be telling you that, right? Page of Pentacles. <laughs> hey, man, it's free will, dog. You got to do what's best for you. Page of Pentacles. I don't know if this is something that's going to... Something about building. You want to... some Page of Pentacles. I'm like, let me stop before I get ahead of myself. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the reason why somebody doesn't think something can move on, something you're trying to build on something, somebody doesn't want to build on something, because they're so stuck on the past. They're stuck in the past. They're stuck in their head. Oh, my God. This situation is, I think it's on its last leg. And I'm not even saying that to be funny. I'm not saying that. I really, somebody is not taking something. Because I don't know if the foundation is not there anymore. The foundation is... Um, I'm seeing like cracks or holes, blemishes. 
Those can be fixed, but both of you have to want it. Let me say that. Somebody doesn't want this offer because they're still stuck in the past. Somebody can't see what's in front of them with the five, four of cups, excuse me. Somebody is too busy looking at their past to see what could be in front of them. That could be the ten of cups. That could be the nine of cups. That could be the world, the wheel, fucking ten of pentacles type of energy. But I see somebody stuck in your head. There's somebody who had, this could be two people. This could be to leave, to stay. To accept, to decline. But I feel like with the death card, there's an ending. I'm just a messenger. Please don't shoot me. But I feel like you still come out fine. You still come out walking away. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes the Queen of Swords, the excuse me, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, decisions. Sometimes you got to make the best decision for you. And with the Queen of Wands, it has that double meaning of either something not moving or some, something's not being taken action on or being in that independent energy. You could be that person who's in that independent energy. You could be getting this offer from an earth sign that you are not feeling right now. This could be an offer of someone offering some stability, but I feel like you or somebody, yeah, there's a lot of unhidden emotions. Something is not, let's see. Because I got the sun, okay, we have, we have, I seen the moon card, the sun in the reverse. Something's not making you happy because I don't know if somebody's really telling you how they really feel. Somebody's not really saying what they feel. Okay, mean what you say and say what you mean. Speak the fuck up. I feel like Sag has been waiting for me to do this reading since my last reading. Y'all blew my shit up. Thank you. I've been wanting to do so I wanted to do bad reading so bad because of y'all. Y'all y'all blew my shit the fuck up. Thank you. Sag. Sag is the MVP, okay? This that's gonna be the name of y'all reading. MVP, alright. But no, nah, that ass, I really appreciate that love. Y'all for real. I don't I don't y'all don't really know how much that means to me from a girl who ain't been doing this that long. I'm gonna start fucking crying. Anyways. I'm a G around this bitch. All right. So the reason why you're fine is because you're walking away from things that no longer serve you. That no longer serve a purpose in your life at this time right now. You're looking to the moon. You're looking to the mountains. You're looking to ascension to higher levels. And I think that's why you're accepting the situation. Because if the death card was in the reverse, you wouldn't be accepting of it. But you're allowing something to naturally, you know what I'm saying, wait away. Queen, you're... You are focused. Focus on that coin. Focus on your stability. Focus on yourself being independent, being being balanced and in control. Okay, three of wands. Why are you? Let's see why you. Why are you not moving forward though? Three of wands. Why are you feeling like your ships are not coming in? With Somebody is definitely yeah. So sooner or later you will. I feel like. That is about your mindset, um, shifting your mindset, looking for the long term. And I feel like the reason why you don't is because you just need to make a decision on what is this that you want? Do you want to make money off your phone? Do you want to go to a job? I feel like a lot of you are entrepreneurs or starting a business. Um, but I feel like you're in your energy heavy. I'm surprised the uh, emperor didn't come out. But shit, I mean, you got the king of wands. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords, and you got the Ace of Wands. I feel like eventually you do, because you came out of that mental, that state of confusion, because you came out of that, you you took yourself out of that, okay? A change of direction allowed you to do that. I feel like this is a this is the turning point that's a that you're allowing in your life that so spirit can come in and work work it's magic work day magic okay third week third week for Sag I feel like my mom is watching me from her car do this do this reading or she's just on the phone third week of December please 
All right. Um, honestly, I think that same energy comes back. Or you just don't take this offer. I feel like you're in this space of not taking something. Oh, because you're going towards your Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So the Ace of Pentacles is not... Didn't I just say, what the fuck? What the fuck? So there's an offer that you don't take because I feel like you take something else. Damn, hold on, y'all. That's crazy. Standing in that confident energy. Where we at? Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Fire, boy. Y'all be having me lit. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Damn. But I see you. You popping, though. With the Ten of Pentacles, you got that bag, though. The Ace of Pentacles, I just think there's a decline. I'm not saying that, bro. Let me just stop let me stop shuffling for two seconds and talk. I feel like just because you opted out, you declined from one offer, you are still abundant either way. Whatever that's not there, whatever you had to turn down or turn down you or however the case may be, you are still fucking popping. Okay, now we can further clarify. Thank you. Because when I start talking, the energy just start popping the fuck out. Yeah, you're looking at this offer like, should I do it? Like, what should I do? And then you're like, bet. Bet. <laughs> Something went slow and then it went pew. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Literally, it went from the pinnacles. That's like years, my nigga. Like, to the wands, that's like days. Days, weeks. Like, something just goes hella fast. Something I feel like had to grow to get to the Ten of Pentacles. There had been a set foundation from the very beginning. To, to you having this. This could have been a. Um, something about an operation. An offer of operations. Order of operations. So something had to go in order. So it's like you had to wait your turn in order to receive this. Title card for your overall energy. You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibility. Hermit mode. You have to go within. Walking away. Being charitable. Being giving. Showing your gifts, your talents, and abilities. Walking away from something. So, full card. New beginnings. So, disclaimer, you're going to hear somebody in the background probably talking shit. All right? Just putting it out there. Because <laughs> I'm not pausing this shit. Hermit. Taking action. Taking swift action. I feel like in your, her in your hermit mode, you're cutting out the distractions so you can focus. I'm going to take this card in the upright because that's how I seen it when it first came out. Queen of Pentacles. Walking away from people, places, and things. I feel like you could... Oh, who else got this energy? Scorpio also got this energy. You could be traveling to the bag. Then offer it could be on the table to you having, you having to relocate. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to decide if you need a teacher or not. Or if you need a mentor. So, I feel like Three of Pentacles, you're kind of withdrawing yourself. Just to see him here again. 